How's it going everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we'll be building a squad builder around the prime icon pack that we have got here. Um, for anyone that doesn't really play FIFA much at the minute this icon pack is obtainable through doing the icon swaps which is new to FIFA 20. Um, in FIFA 19 obviously you could do icon SBCs, it's a bit different this year. You can get icons through playing the game, doing objectives, um, challenges in different game modes and for nine tokens, you can get the prime icon pack, which is what I've took. What we're going to do is we're going to open this. We're going to build a team <clears throat> um, around this player, and hopefully, hopefully we can get a decent player. That's the main thing. Um, I want to try and get someone that I can put into my team. Obviously, getting a getting a crap one's not really worth much because you can't put it into an icon SBC because then they're, they're, they're not around anymore. Um, so this player, hopefully, it's good. It'll go into my main team. This is my main account. Um, like I said, we'll build a squad builder around the icon, or we'll fit it into my main team, and we'll go and play a game, and we'll um, give the player a little tryout. But what we're going to do now is we're going to get straight into the video, and we're going to open the Prime Icon Player Pack. Before we do that, make sure you smash the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Um, if you don't follow me on Facebook Gaming or any of my other socials, I'll leave all the links to that in the description. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Let's get the icon pack open. Hopefully, get someone good. No Seydorf or Zola, because I've already got them. Right, come on. Let's go. Someone good. This is the first icon pack. Like, prime icon pack I've opened this year. Come on. Oh, wait there, actually. That's not too bad, is it? Is it? I don't know whether that's good or bad, Shevchenko. He looks good, to be fair. 88 pace is quite good. 92 shooting is really good. 87 dribbling. Not bad, physical. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I would have liked to have got someone better or someone different. Um, but I don't think it's too bad. I hope he's got four star skills. Right, let's check his price first. Right, so he's like four hundred k, so he's not that bad. Let's check his skills. Right, he's only got three star skills, which for me I don't really like. But he has got ninety three finish. He has got a good card. He's not a bad card to be fair. But I think we probably could have done a lot better than that. Well, we could have, couldn't we? Anyway, he looks pretty good. What we're going to do is we're going to put him into uh, my main team and we're going to play a foot champs game and see how well he does actually play. So I'll see you all in one second. Right, so this is my main team. As you can see, I've managed to put Shevchenko in. Um, I don't actually play this formation in game, but what we have done is we've took out fully by Anson, which even though Shevchenko is not amazing, it's kind of worked out well for me because I've managed to get an attack on player. Um, I wanted to replace fully by Anson to our... What I basically normally play in game is I normally play 4 2 3 1. I've tried to start using now or the 4 2 4. Um, so Felipe Anderson has been replaced by Shevchenko. And what I'll do is I will play uh, Vinicius Jr. either left cam or left wing instead of normally playing him striker. And I'll play Shevchenko at striker instead. So, you know, it has helped. Like I said, I would have liked to have got a better icon, but we will try him out, see what he's like. Um, I wasn't really impressed with Felipe Anderson. So um, hopefully he's good. Um, Vinicius Junior does get 7 chemistry which is more than enough as you can see if you go in game and look at the attributes chemistry affects the stats and as you can see he's still getting um, boosts on his stats off his chemistry style so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into a foot champs game and we're going to try out this Shevchenko card and obviously just have a game and see how, how the team works based around the you know slight few position changes that we have tried but um, yeah, I'll see you all in one second when we get into a game. Right, as we get into this game, I'm just going to explain now. Um, obviously, I wanted to try them out in rival, um, foot champs. But I've just managed to play a game in rivals by accident, thinking it was foot champs. In that game, Shevchenko played and he scored one goal. But we're going to get into a foot champs game now and see how he is in a foot champs game instead. So I'll see you all when we get into the gameplay. Right, let's go. 4-2-3-1. Uh, we're trying out at the minute just to see how it is. Uh, Shevchenko is playing a lone striker. Uh, like I said in a little clip before, um, by accident I went into a rivals game I managed to use him and he was actually yeah pretty pretty okay pretty decent in the one game that I played so far um, I did sub him off quite early to um, to not use him too much so I couldn't sit here and rant on and say how good or bad he was so this would be the first proper game that we've used for him he's got a one thing I will say he's got he's got a really really good right foot um, I want to try and obviously use him, but not too much. If that makes sense, I don't want to overuse him. But I do want to try and get a few goals in him, because that's what he is in the team for. Finish it. Oh, finish it. There we go. Second game in for Shevchenko, second goal. Um, like I said, 
you missed, you didn't see the first game. I'll show you the stats after the game. It'll see he's had two games. Well, this will be his second game played. But, um, you know, he possibly could have scored the first one, but he did score the rebound. Clinical in the right position. It's what he wants. To be fair, it was a very good save. Good finish. Second, second time lucky. Play to Salah. Then, give it to him. Up in. Oh, what a goal that is. What a goal. First time shot, finesse. Um, I was going to time green it, but I thought, you know what, I'll just let him see how good the shooting is on his own without me having to give him a little boost. Uh, I'd say that was a pretty good goal. I don't normally watch replays, by the way, but I am going to be watching replays in any of these reviews of a player or what have you. What a goal that is. Right. Play the through ball. Bob. Oh, what a lovely little dink that was by Zola. It doesn't look like he's going to quit. What a goal that was. That was a lovely little finish. Left foot, I think it was as well. I love this icon kit. Um, I hope if, it, if it's purchase, purchase, purchasable anyway, let me know. I definitely, definitely want to try and get one. Look at this for a lovely little dink. Lovely. Great little finish. We're free nil up. Not a rage quit in sight. Let's keep going. Half time, 3 nil. Surprised he hasn't rage quit to be fair. Been um, all me really, hasn't it? Yeah, as you can see, he's had three shots. I've had ten. I've had most of the possession. Um, his pass accuracy just hasn't been good enough. But um, yeah, let's see how we go in the second half. Run, run, run. There we go. Four nil. Nice little fake shot, which was just didn't even need to do it, but I thought I would. And then a low driven shot. Um, green time, bottom corner. Goal for Zola. Zola's a really good player. If you got uh, if you got the coins to go and buy the baby Zola, go and get him and try him out. He's really good. Up the pitch. Right, we're gonna get one more chance. We're gonna get a chance with Devchenko. That's the question. Come on, keep going. There we go. He managed to score in the ninety-second minute. We are gonna just skip past that replay. Um, like I said, he is clinical in front of goal. There was a couple of chances that he probably should have scored, but. It's FIFA 4 yet. They will miss some chances sometimes, even when you know you'd expect them to score. Um, he's felt good. The thing I will say that you know, like I said, the stamina hasn't felt great in this game. But looking at Zola there, Zola has got a lot less energy left to play in this game. But yeah, we do manage to win 5 0. I think Shevchenko got two goals. Oh, we got a hat trick. Sorry, I didn't realize he scored three. We've played two games for us one in rivals, one in um, foot champs, and he's managed to score four goals. Um, like I said, in the 4-2-4 four, four four formation, I do feel like he will do a lot better. Who got man of the match? Was it Vinicius? Vinicius Jr. got man of the match. Um, joint man of the match with Shevchenko, both on exactly the same rating. Shevchenko with three goals, no assists. But yeah, we're going to get into the um, squad menu now. And we'll have a little, little look at his in-game stats. I'll see you all in one second. Right, so we've just played our game with Shevchenko. I'll show you now. As you can see, he has played two games. Didn't show you before. Uh, the first game was a rivals game, like I said, I went in by accident. We did win. He did score one goal in that last game. He got a hat trick. Uh, he's got high high attack and high defensive work rate. So what I will do is in game, I will make sure he's on stay forward. Of course, I can add a chemistry style to him as well. Uh, let's have a little look at his icon profile. So he's played for Dinamo Kiev, Milan, Chelsea, Milan again, Chelsea again, Dinamo Kiev again. Uh, Ukraine as well. Look how good that goal scoring record was for Milan. He was absolutely phenomenal. Um, trade, power free kick, finesse shot, long shot taker, speed dribbler, not bad. Let's have a look at his in games, the most important thing. So his stamina is 77. That's probably why it was quite low before. Obviously, we could try and boost something for his physicality. Maybe for his dribbling as well. Um, for someone who was as good as a goal scorer as him, I feel like 85 composure is quite low. Um, for someone that is 6 foot, Got pretty decent stats in terms of balance and agility. Uh, balance and agility. Yeah, normally quite low for someone a little bit taller. Uh, free kick accuracy, very good. Finishing, very good. Shot power, very good. Attacking position, very good. His shooting's amazing. Like I said, he did miss a couple of chances, but that's going to happen on FIFA. Um, for me, I feel like he's a decent player. And I do feel like he'll play better than the 4 2 4. And I also think that over time, I'll get used to him and like him better. And he is an improvement on my Philippe Anderson. So for me, would I have liked someone better? Of course. I'm happy with him. Yeah, I'm quite happy with him. He's not too bad. And I think, you know, I will will get to try him out a little bit more over this weekend. And I will enjoy him. 
But um, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure that you do smash the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Check out all the links in the description to all my other social medias. And I'll see you all next time.